introducing the standard grill cutout kit. This is non-telescoping. It fits all grills up to 36 inches wide. You'll simply cut these two tubes down to any shorter width that you need for your grill cutout kit. You come with two CTTs, identify with blue paint, six one-way couplers, and two three-way corners. Let's show you how to install it. So we'll take our tape measure and we'll find the center of the module. This is a four foot module, so we'll mark the center at 24 inches. By marking the center of the module, we can now uh, mark exactly where our grill will fit centered in this four foot module. If you don't want it centered, then you wouldn't do this. Now we go back to our sheet for the cutout width which says right here, it's gonna be 31 inches wide and that includes our half inch of wiggle room. So we'll go ahead and measure over half of that, which would be 15 and a half inches to the left and make our mark. And then from that mark, we'll go ahead and measure this way, the full cutout width of the 31 inches and make a mark here. And that way we'll have it nice and centered within the module, our cutout. To double check, we'll go ahead and measure in from the end, and we see it's eight and a half in eight and a quarter inches, and we do the same over here and see that it's eight and a quarter inches. So we know we're centered perfectly in the frame. Now we'll take our three-way corners and go to the next step. A three-way corner, we'll take it like this, and we're gonna put it near that line, and then we use our sliding clamp. These are cheap from Home Depot, and we're gonna clamp that into the frame. You can see we got it lined up just on the inside of that cut line there, this three-way corner. Now, you see this piece is gonna be here at the steel tubing. So this tube is gonna slide over this tube. So we wanna make the cut line right here for cutting the steel tubing. Just like that. Now we'll repeat that on the other side and we'll end up with a cut line here and a cut line somewhere over there. And then we'll remove this steel tube, we'll go to our chop saw and cut these off. So it's a good idea you label this one right and label this one left so when you come back here, it's gonna be perfect. Now we're doing it here on the right side. We've already got our cut line here. And we're gonna go ahead and label up here right, RT. Do it fast. There we are, good. And now we're gonna make our cut line here. Just like that, good. Now, this is your last chance to make sure that this is uh, with the extra half inch wiggle room. So I recommend you take a tape measure and measure from the cut line here, or not the cut line, from the inside line here over to here and make sure you have that proper cut out with the extra half inch of wiggle room before you go cut this at your chop saw. Now let's go cut. Okay, so we got our piece LT that we just cut. We're gonna slip it over the left side here. Then we're gonna take our three-way coupler and slide that in. And you can kind of see how now, how we're making this with the kind of have a return piece and a vertical tube going down on that side. Now we'll do the right one and we'll slide our RT piece over that. We'll slide our three-way corner piece into that. And now you're getting the idea, you can kind of visualize this now, how we have a way to do our return pieces on the left and right and the vertical tubes coming down. Now, if you really wanna be uh, careful, you could go ahead and measure this opening one more time between here and make sure it's the proper width for your grill because it'd be very easy to trim one of these a little bit more if you need to. So it's last chance to trim that. So now we're going to install our VTs from the three-way corner down to the base. Now the cutout kit does not come with VTs. When you bought your module, you had an option to add two extra VTs for 50% off. You would use those for this uh, grill cutout kit. Now let's go ahead and install the VTs. So we're gonna slip the one way into the bottom of the VT. We're gonna go ahead and take our three way corner out and slip it in the top of this um, VT. 
and then we'll go ahead and slip it back together like this. And now you can see how we've got this framed. So now we'll go ahead and start locking this all in with our screws. Make sure you get it locked in nice and tight up against here and don't use any screws where the cement board's gonna go. None on the front, none on the top. So you gotta screw on the insides of the frame. So go ahead and screw all those in, lock them in now. Screw the one in on the bottom. We better measure the cross here. We got eight and a half inches and we'll measure down at the bottom and set that VT in or out to make it the eight and a half inches so this is square up and down before we screw it in down here. Now we take our one-way coupler and we insert it with one of these CTTs identified by blue paint and we're gonna make our return the left side of grill here. So we go ahead and we slipped it over the three-way corner and we're gonna clamp it to the back wall here. Now it's very important that we're gonna get this square so we'll measure the front here across, which was what, eight and a half inches. And now we'll measure across from here to there with a tape measure. And we'll hit it with a hammer either way until we get it perfectly eight and a half inches so we know that this thing is square. So now that we have all of that, you would just duplicate that whole system on the right side. Okay, so now we have our left and right sides installed and we're really seeing uh, uh, how this is gonna play out here, it's looking good. It only took us about 10 minutes to do this with those three-way couplers and a chop saw. So this is really the fastest and easiest way with this steel tube framing system. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the behind the grill steel tube. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna take that, uh, our 36 inch tube that came with the kit and we're gonna take it out there and cut it to fit. So now we're gonna install behind the grill part. So we go back to our cutout uh, spec sheet and we look to see for the depth. And it has 21 inch depth here on the frame. But now we need to subtract a half inch for the cement board siding that's gonna be on the front. Don't subtract for finishing materials, only the half inch cement board. So instead of this uh, 21 inch depth, we're going to set it in 19 and a half inches. So we'll measure from the front of the frame back to 19 and a half and make a line. And we'll repeat that on the right side. Okay, so now we'll slip our one ways into the 36 inch tube that we cut down to a, a smaller size to fit our grill. And we'll go ahead and set that in behind the grill tube here. And we'll make sure we line it up so the solid side here is just behind that little black line on both sides and then we'll take our clamp and clamp it to hold it in place. And we'll go ahead and screw this in on both sides. Just like that. So now you can see we have it locked in with the screws on the left and right sides. So now we can go ahead and work on our below the grill tube. Now, in order to set the below the grill tube, we go back to our cutout specs again. Now our cutout spec here says nine and a half inch height for this countertop support grill. So we're gonna go ahead and take a half inch deduction for the cement board that's gonna be on top. And we're going to calculate our finishing materials. Let's say it's a two inch concrete countertop or five eighths inch for a granite slab, whatever finishing material you're planning, you'll add that as well to deduct it from this nine and a half inches. So for this example, we'll say deduct half inch for the cement board and uh, three quarters of an inch for tile with the grout. So that would uh, take off one and one quarter inches. So we'll deduct one and one quarter inches from nine and a half and we'll make our marks for that, that depth. So just to show you on paper here, the cutout height was nine and a half inches. We subtracted a half inch for cement board and our finishing material, we're saying tile, we're gonna minus three and quarter inches, but this would be whatever finishing material you have. If it's two inch concrete countertop, it'd be minus two inches. And that gives us eight and a quarter inches. So now we'll draw our marks on the frame eight and a quarter inches and position our be below the grill tube. So now we take our tape measure from the top of the frame down and we make our line at whatever that uh, measurement was gonna be. For our example, it's eight and a quarter. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we'll slip our one ways in each 
end of the steel tube for below the grill that we pre-cut. We'll go ahead and put it in position here and it's good to have clamps so you can clamp it in place. You can see the top of the tube lines up with the mark. And we'll clamp the other side and then we'll go ahead and screw this in. So now we have completed the countertop grill cutout kit installation. You can see how fast and easy it was. Now if you have a platform supported grill, now you would go ahead and install your grill platform kit in addition to the countertop kit. Now about doors below the grill, you can see that if you're installing a door or a combo underneath your grill, it's going to need to fit between the left and right grill tubes. If you get something that's wider than your grill, it's not going to fit here and you would have to do advanced framing, which requires you to frame the larger item first below and then frame the smaller grill cut out above second. And that's more advanced and would require extra parts you would need to buy but it is possible. But we do recommend staying with this nice, easy installation because you can see how this is giving full support for your heavy grill. So it's really nice if the doors or the combo will fit equal or less than the grill cutout width. That's important. Okay, we wanna give a special thanks to MC Construction and also to FC Construction Companies that do commercial building here in Southern California. Thank you so much guys for uh, showing our contractors and DIYers how easy it is to do this grill cutout kit with the steel tubes. Easy as that.